Real quick, Kitchen Chronicles with the Austin. Kitchen Chronicles with the Austin. We love our new kitchen. Nice. It's smaller, but it's really, really nice. Mm -hmm. You should go check out our last video on our new home so you can see our kitchen. Because yes. I don't have to show it to you now if you're watching my video. Subscribe! All right. Yes, like and subscribe. <laughs> Is that it? KCWA. What's KCWA? Kitchen Chronicles with the Austins. Oh, KCWA. What? K Kitchen Chronicles with the Austins. KCWA. Hashtag DR Harmony. Hashtag KCWA. Yes. Anyway, he just made it up, so let's make it official. Yeah. Is that it? Mm -hmm. All right. He's so Sweet. helpful. He helped clean the kitchen. Usually, I cook. Yes, and I clean, the clean the kitchen. Or yeah. I cook, and he'll clean the kitchen. Well, I cook and I clean the kitchen. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so he cleans the kitchen. <laughs> But you know, it's all about working together, guys. Yes. It's all about working together. Yes. Whatever works for you in your business. Okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. 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 So, oh, while we're here, oh. okay, so <laughs> y'all gotta let us know how y'all handle your meat, and then you gotta let us know, um, yeah, how you handle your meat. Mm -hmm. And so... Saints. Greetings, Saints. What's going on? <laughs> we rep IYC. Right. The same year, sure. International we... Youth Choir. Oh, Jesus. What? International <laughs> Youth Choir. Of the Church of God in Christ. The Church! So we're washing dishes. Yes. And he says we should be recording this. Austin's in the kitchen. Kitchen Chronicles with the Austin. Kitchen Chronicles with the Austin. Because she always she has this, this thing with frozen meats, which I get, you know, oh you, need to, you need to thaw out. I get it, I get it, I get it. But I'm just used to the fact of, I Frozen said, meat. Yes, hold it. Yes. Frozen okay, right, 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 meat. Yes. Tell them what the meat is. <laughs> <laughs> this I said, what is that? If, you're, if you were me, you probably just said, what is that? <laughs> Come over to uh, the screen so they can see your hands. I'm washing dishes, say, so. This meat is pork shoulder roast. AKA. Also, <laughs> <laughs> That's not what she told me the first time. It is also called Boston butt. Right. Uh, let's see. Can you see that? Boston butt. Yes. <laughs> Look how, you hear how, how hard it is? Yes. Which I get, like I was saying about thawing out meat before you cook it. I get that. So this is what happens. Let me tell what happens. Go ahead. I take out something. This is when we was in Maryland. So I take out something, I put it, I put it out the night before in the sink because I want it to be thawed out. Usually by the time I get home from work or whatever I gotta do so I can hurry up and cook it and get on with our evening activities. But I kept noticing every time I came home, the meat would be back in the freezer. And so finally one day I said, Delonjay, are you putting my meat back in the freezer? <laughs> she said that softly. <laughs> what did I, just, I say? I don't know what you said, but I want that softly. <laughs> Delonjay, are you putting my meat back in the freezer? <laughs> Go ahead, now it's your turn. So, yes, I will put it back in the freezer because if you need meat to be thawed out, I don't think it takes all night and all day for meats to be thawed out. I'm used to the fact that you take it out in the morning because I'm still used to getting up early in the morning, even before the military. I will still be getting up early in the morning. And mom will just take out the meat. Um, 
in first the thing morning. in the morning, five in the morning. And by the time we get home, about five something at night, it's thawed out. So that's what I'm used to to doing. So when I'm thinking she's leaving meat out, it's, it's just sitting out all night long. <laughs> Sit out all night long and then all day. It's not being in a in, in a crock pot or anything. No, it's sitting out all night and all day with the angels watching over them. Like now, now I have to admit, sometimes I do forget to put the meat in the refrigerator. Sometimes, but not lately. Not lately. But so he just becomes extremely, extremely helpful. Yeah. So that's why I. Place, yes, I should have taken it out when I'm up in the morning. Yes. Oh, yeah. So then, yes, we made a plan. Remember? When we got to Germany, we got a plan. Yes. I said, okay, babe, since you get up extremely earlier than me, like 430, you know, why don't you take out whatever you want to eat for that day, whatever meat, whatever, whatever, and just set it out when you get it up. So this is our first week in our new home. Couple weeks ago, almost a month or so ago, yeah. <laughs> and I get up. There's no meat. <laughs> because I honestly, I did forget because I got up, <laughs> went to do my PT, and came. I took out the dog and got dressed, got showered up, and everything got dressed, and then went on to work. I I did forget, so that was on me. <laughs> so then you know what I start doing. Taking out the meat at night again. But it's in my mind, I'm thinking like meat sitting out all night long. Like it's gonna something's gonna go wrong <laughs> with this meat sitting out all night and all day. But usually <laughs> when I get up, I put it back in the refrigerator. Thought I was looking at it and compare it now that you know I'm here. Right. So <laughs> needless to say, I took out the Boston butt this today for tomorrow. <laughs> And let me know if you want to uh, see how my Boston butt turns out. Maybe we'll another YouTube. I'm about to say, yeah, we'll probably do that one. Later. See how my see Boston how butt turned out. out. And I looked at him and I said, <laughs> Honey. <laughs> honey. As I'm watching Please do not put my meat back in the refrigerator. So um, we're going to let it sit out. And maybe in the morning when he gets up, he can put it in in the refrigerator but don't put it in the freezer maybe. please don't put it in the freezer yeah. so so we want to know what do y'all do do y'all take out meat if you're single or man right. how do y'all do it do you take out your meat at night or your vegetables at night or do you wait till in the morning to take out your meat Yes, first thing in the morning. Now, yeah. again, I'm saying when he gets up, he usually puts it back in the refrigerator. Oh, sorry, we don't have to that or whatever. But yeah. He puts it back in the refrigerator for us. I'm not saying leaving it out 24 hours and then <laughs> cooking it and then you sick and stuff. No, that's not what <laughs> So, let us know what you do with your meat. Right. What you want to tell people? Mm -hmm. You like my hair? like all natural like maybe i'll do something else to it but it's grown extremely long so yeah we love you guys you don't have nothing else you want to say i don't think so just my question is i put it on the spot what is one of your favorite dishes that i have cooked hmm <laughs> <laughs> She cooks, she cooks a whole lot, y'all. She really does. She looks up different recipes and like, and uh, actually cooks it and does and does a great job. Like all her meals are good. Like that's no lie. I'm not just saying that because she's my wife, but no. That's, that's What's your good. favorite? I don't like following the recipes after I look them up though. I just do my whole thing. But what's your favorite? <laughs> that's an African American thing. <laughs> Yeah, I'm following recipes. I have a hard time following recipes. I, I, I know I don't. I just go for what I smell. If it smells good, then I'm cooking it. The other day, he was like, ooh, it smells like home. Yes. I can't remember what I was cooking that day, but. Y'all know, but. Um, oh, that was yesterday with the was cabbage. Was it yesterday? Oh, the cabbage, the salmon. Yeah, because I was like a head of 
Yeah, or something. Something, <laughs> like something sweet. I did not put any sugar <laughs> in my cabbage, but hers, you know, was a little sweet. But um. But her favorite, my favorite dish of hers. Hmm. My first time dining out, guys. Hmm. Everyone knows she does. She does salmon grape. She does. State well. Um, I'm sorry. I was looking in our drain. <laughs> in Germany, we don't have garbage disposal. Yes. So I'm trying to figure out in my brain how this uh, is going to get clean. Well, that's why you know, they say don't put food particles down. There. But sometimes stuff just happens to go that's, down. It just goes down to the sewer. Well, we need to do something. Stuff. It don't stick or nothing. It's just me being extra right now. Huh? What? Clean out this <laughs> drainage. <laughs> it don't. It doesn't stick. But I'm just thinking in advance. Like I just need to know how to like clean that out. Okay, but anyway. Drain out. <laughs> oh, never used it. Did y'all hear the airplanes? Oh yeah, there's a lot of helicopters that flies over here on my base. I should have put, put some lip gloss on or something. It's, it's nighttime. At this recording. Kitchen Chronicles! It is nighttime. It's almost 8 o'clock here. My time now. So. But um, her favorite, my favorite dish of hers. Hmm. I really don't know. Like, all her dishes are really good. Like, uh, she does pork chop really well. Oh, yeah, you do like pork chop. Mm hmm. Yeah, she really does, she does pork chop really well. So, um, between pork chop and salmon, if I had to narrow it down to give a choice, <laughs> to give a choice between her pork chop and salmon, are really good. So. And cooking was not a prerequisite. It wasn't. Yeah. We got married, but you know, I grew up and I saw my mom cooking in the kitchen for my family, for her family rather. Um, she still cooks for my dad now, yeah. which is funny to me. Um, yeah, his mom cooks, but um, he cooks really good breakfast. His pancakes are so good. And, yeah. So, I guess, you know, yeah. So, anywho, we love you guys. Let us know what you do with y'all meat. Flash. That's how you say it in German. Flash. How do you spell it? F L E I S C H. Isn't that like a weird word? Just say it with me. Flash. I mean, I mean, it kind of makes me not want to eat it, but I love meat. Sorry, you know, if y'all are vegetarians, or pescatarian, you know, but I love meat. Flash. I mean, that's just flash. And then, how do you say turkey? Punt. Punta. Punta. Do you remember how to say chicken or ham? Mm -hmm. One is, I can't remember, guys. Schwein. Oh, Schwein. Schwein is um, pork. Pork. Yes. Yes. So this is Schwein flesh. <laughs> is it, oh, yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah. Have you ever had Schwein. Boston butt? <laughs> no, I haven't. So. You're going to have it tomorrow. <laughs> she apparently loves it, so. <laughs> I do. She's been talking about it over a year now. <laughs> She's been talking about getting Boston, but we, we weren't able to find it in Maryland, like in any stores. Yeah. yeah so. And then even this one is like a small, it's a small one. It's enough for us, of course, we can get like two meals out of it. But when my dad cooked it, it looked a little different. So. Shout out to dad. Yeah, I love you, dad. So, um, when it's all oh, that. When it falls out, I'm gonna cut it. And I'm either gonna grill it or bake it. I'm not gonna fry it. My dad, he used to fry it. But we just moved it. It's kind of like a pork chop, but it's like more tender. Um, so we just moved in our house and we haven't purchased flour yet. But we don't fry a lot of stuff anyway. But I like to have it in just in case. Trying to cut back. It's going away. Okay, we're really gonna go now. Yeah, we're gonna go. All right. Peace. Love you guys. Love y'all.
Oh, if we walk away, who's gonna turn it off? Right. We walk away. We walk away. Who's gonna turn it off? <laughs> Kid Chronicles. Let us know if you like this. Give us a thumbs up and subscribe.